Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following the channel for a little bit, you know that I really love gadgets and I love any kind of new uh, filming equipment or cameras or stuff that I can bring to this channel to kind of give you guys a different view or just kind of break up the videos a little bit here and do something different. So this week I got something new that I'm really excited to show you guys and I'm gonna be filming on it for today's episode as we're running around town. And instead of a whole new device, this is something that I can use with something that I already film with uh, for a lot of the parts of the channel. And that's my phone. So a lot of people now are using their cell phones. They've got really good cameras. It uh, takes great video and it's something that is easy to import when you're putting the videos together. And um, again, it just fits in your pocket. So it's easy to run around town to kind of take some quick shots. You don't have something like this big camera here that you gotta lug around in a backpack and uh, then just kind of protect it from the elements and all that stuff. I was looking around trying to find something I could use and I've seen these before and it's something that I'm familiar with but I wasn't quite sure with which company to go with. What I ended up getting was a two-part system and the first part is my phone case. And this is a new case and it's made by a company called Nomad and it's got like a leather back to it and then um, just simple protection all around, nothing fancy, nothing extreme like an OtterBox, but um, I feel comfortable if I were to accidentally drop this, the, the phone would be protected. Uh, but the main part of this case is actually the little notch that's on the camera, and that's because it goes with this thing that's called a Moment Lens. And this lens is a 18 millimeter and it's a, a wide angle lens. And the idea uh, with this one is that you attach it to your phone case. I now can have a much wider angle as I'm going through and filming. So let me show you guys real quick. This is just a protective case that covers the back part of the lens and then obviously the front side there. So the way you do it is you just line up the grooves like this and then you just twist it. And when you twist it clockwise, it locks in place and then that becomes part of the camera case itself or the phone case. And uh, you can go around shooting your videos and then uh, take it off if you'd like. Obviously it doesn't fit really well in your pocket when you've got something like this big lens on there. Just slide it down to that part and then have it hang out. Um, but some people have commented and talked about how uh, when they do that and they store it, it puts pressure on the bottom and it makes the fitting a little bit weaker. So I'm always going to have it detached when I got it in my pocket or a backpack and then uh, just together when uh, I'm filming with that. So there are some camera phones uh, like Samsung makes where they already do a wide angle. This one's unique too because kind of like the GoPro you guys will see when we do those shots, you get more of like um, a fish eye look to it. And this helps kind of straighten it out so that it's more rectangular and you don't get those curved lines. So it's supposed to make it a little bit more smoother. It also comes with a really cool app. The Moment app is a camera application and allows you just to do a little bit more features and it turns your phone almost into like a DSLR camera like the one I'm filming with now. So you can control a lot of different aspects of what you're doing with your video as far as your ISO, uh, your aperture, your shutter speed, that kind of thing. The purpose of this then is I can have something a little bit more discreet than a big camera and I can still get that wide angle. It's a cool shot for you guys and you're able to see kind of what's in the background, where we are at what's going on, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna test it today as we're going out. We're running some errands. Today the plan is to go to Ikea and Costco because we've got that membership as you guys saw in the last video. And so we're gonna go do some shopping, kind of see what they have there. But I'm interested in seeing if I can film the entire episode with this today and then uh, just see what you guys think. See if this offers a unique shot or um, you know if I'm gonna need to stick with my GoPro or something like that. But yeah, excited to try it. I'll give you guys a little test here if I detach it and I show you just my phone, what I'm gonna do is just do a video recording. I'm just gonna tap it, no lens here. So this is what you would do normally, just kind of hold it up and you're hoping that you're in view and that you're in focus. Um, normally it's like arms distance away, but you can see there's really, uh, it's a tight angle. There's not a lot that you can see on the sides here and uh, it just kind of makes it like a little bit more difficult to make sure you're getting a good shot. So let me go ahead and switch. All right, and then just hit record. This is what it looks like with the wider angle and you can see there's a lot more in view behind me and it's an easier shot then because I really don't have to worry about it if I'm in frame and uh, in focus there. The camera's doing the work for me and just kind of point and shoot. So you guys can see again a little bit bulkier profile there. It sticks out a lot but I think it's overall it's a nicer setup and being able to just have this on the go versus a big camera. So let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, if this is something you guys enjoy watching, if I can incorporate this with some of the GoPro or some of the DSLR footage, 
and uh, again, just bring some different shots, something unique to the channel here. We will catch you guys soon. So as you can see, we are uh, at our favorite location. This has been a routine. But I got us fruit. Yeah, so sugary drinks, but also some fruit to offset it. <laughs> More <So>. sugar. <laughs> if you guys ever want to track us down and try and meet up, uh, you can find us at Starbucks. Yeah. And uh, pretty much anywhere on the weekend. Yeah, I think you've heard this complaint from me before, but I just can't get behind paper straws. Oh yeah, so I got a cold drink today. Uh, it's actually like warmer out today, yeah, sun's nice. shining. Um, but yeah, paper straws, I'm all for saving the environment. I just can't get behind paper oh, straws. Oh, they're the worst. We're gonna grab some of those uh, collapsible or reusable straws. They make like metal ones that are telescopic. You can just throw in your bag or pocket or whatever. Yeah. So we're gonna try and to find some. We are like, we like use our Yetis and like yeah. all this, but paper straws are the worst. Yeah, we're not a big fan of like the water bottles and stuff, but just re uh, refilling the Yetis and paper straws. So the only thing with this lens is I can't put it on the car mount that I've got. It doesn't balance right. So I got to figure out something, but you guys aren't going to see those uh, really cool time lapses of heading into town. Darn. But yeah, so we'll, we'll pick you guys back up when we get to it. The plan again is to go to Ikea and uh, shop around for some stuff for the nursery and then go to Costco. And I think Costco is going to be a little dangerous. I told Chelsea I, I didn't bring my... Uh, yeah. I didn't bring a cooler or anything, so we can't get like a lot of meats or stuff that's got to stay refrigerated. I'm looking for samples. Yeah, she wants to go around, just try a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yum, I can't wait. I wonder <laughs> if they're going to have that giant chocolate cake. You know, the one I'm talking about that they always had at home? No. Oh, okay, never mind. If know. they have it, I'll get take a picture. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a shot for you guys. Here we go. Made it at Ikea. I also need glasses, sunglasses, because the glasses I have are subscription, so when I got contacts, <laughs> Prescription, <laughs> subscription, I don't know. They're prescription. All right, we already found two things. Nothing to do with the nursery. This is more computer related to have up on the desk. So I'll show you guys how I'm gonna use this when I get back. Okay. Pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> we had to get a bag. Too much. This is a dangerous section now. It's really cool. Trying to talk Chelsea into letting us get one of those for our bed. A little campy. <laughs> really like that vinyl though, that's cool. Eating fried. <laughs> Alright, man, it's pit stop for lunch. When you go to Ikea, you gotta get the Swedish meatballs. Way to go. Chelsea went with a kid's meal. Not feeling it. <laughs> Alright, we've now upgraded to a cart. Too many pillowcases, not enough time. Mm. <laughs> I think we did a good job. Filled up the cart. Yep. I should, I'm smelling my lip. <laughs> <laughs> Escalator question right. Who's your favorite Spice Girl? I like Sporty Spice. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Now we're to two carts. I think it's time to leave. <laughs> we're getting uh, this guy here, cool bookshelf, but we'll show you once we get all put together. I can see your belly button. <laughs> okay, Costco. Um, we haven't gone yet. <laughs> what was I trying to say? I, oh, Ikea. So Ikea <laughs> shopping complete, now to Costco. We got a full car, so we can't get a whole lot at Costco. But um, how many hours was that? Like three hours that we spent walking around there? I usually love Ikea, but There's... Kyle made me stand in the lighting section for like an hour. Yeah, so I'm trying to look. I think I'm going to end up going with Philips Hue, but Ikea has their own brand of like smart light bulbs where you can like dim them or uh, color change, all that kind of stuff. So I was waiting forever because everybody was getting in there. It was a small corner where you could look at the lights and it uh, wasn't working out. So. I don't know, I read a little bit online and I was like, I think I'm gonna go with Philips Hue. But it was cool to check out, I didn't know Ikea had smart lighting, so that was neat. Um, but a lot of good stuff for the nursery. So I'd like to say we will show you in this video, but 
probably not. <laughs> We're gonna save a nursery tour for a little bit later once we get everything complete or at least a little bit better organized. So thankfully this stuff will help. Got stuff for uh, dresser drawers. We got some decorations, like you saw the tree. Got a bookcase, so I got some more uh, adult Legos to put together, so that'll be fun. I don't know, but we're gonna head over to Costco. Thankfully it's right across the street and then get home so the, um, we can let the dogs out, let them run around a little bit. We're at Costco and it's exactly the same as in America. You feel like you're back in America? Yes, they even have paddle boards. And big carts. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna kill some time here. I like those towels. You guys ever been so thirsty you could just drink uh, 17 cups at once? Look at this thing. What a beast. I like this one. Checking out the sweatpants. have the cake. This is the chocolate cake that Chelsea was all excited about. That's crazy. So is it German chocolate or just chocolate? Chocolate fudge. Chocolate fudge. Nice. Yeah, um, we're going to need some help. So uh, local friends that are watching, please come help Wait, us eat this. Are we getting this? Yeah, why not? Okay. Get some cake. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a beef cake. Hey guys, we made it back to the house and um, I didn't film a lot for Costco when we were walking around but the main thing Chelsea kept saying is how similar it was to the ones in the United States. So that was really cool. Um, I was even texting my mom and I was like, it feels weird. It feels like we just did like a weird jump where we were back in the US uh, as soon as we walked through the doors. So, right, but their um, uh, like pre-made food was different. So yeah. like um, the one in Delaware, they have like uh, taco packs that you could, not pre-made, but like they have taco packs and potato salad and other things. But here I saw like meat pies <laughs> and like curry and Indian food, which is not what they have. Yeah, the <laughs> like the same kind of British uh, food, but it was weird too. Some of the brands, they looked like American brands, but they had a different name. We're like, oh, this is like the same thing. Um, but it was funny, even like the down to the toothbrushes mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of stuff, all the bathroom stuff packaged up together. Um, if you ever need like 20 toothbrushes, Costco is definitely the place to go and get them cheap. Um, but we got a lot of stuff today. I was going to go through it like we've done in previous videos, but uh, there's just a lot that would make more sense once we show you guys the nursery and kind of take you around. We got some good organizers from Ikea and just some stuff to kind of put the room together a little bit more. And then Costco is mainly just like some easy supplies, uh, a little bit of food. Chelsea got this ginormous cake here. I wasn't gonna buy it, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, she kept talking about it. She's like, the cake is so good. I really hope like, they have the cake. We need like one piece. And yeah. He's just gonna bring it to work on Monday. One, one, one piece. I was like, this would be perfect for another video. We're just gonna give you a fork and then we're gonna set a timer and see how long it takes you to eat this whole and thing. And I'll eat literally this much and that'll be yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Again, we're gonna share with a bunch of friends. I just had to try it. So she was like, this is so good. We gotta give it a shot. Mm -hmm. She got some good pretzels that she was missing um, from home too. So that was neat that they had those. Um, I don't know, just that kind of stuff. It was good to get out, walk around today, just gonna go see Costco. So now we know um, our membership is definitely already paid for itself and uh, we're gonna be back on future trips. So stick with us. If this is your first time watching us, please hit that subscribe button down below and uh, we're gonna do some more. And then write in the comments, let me know what you guys thought of this lens today, just trying to do it different with the phone. Um, I hope it worked out pretty good. I know the audio wasn't as great as like the GoPro, but it was fun just to be able to have this and pull it out of my pocket and go through and kind of take you guys along today. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.